Is it possible to deploy a wireless network for a company uh, using 40 AP as the access point and being managed by 40 gate as the wireless LAN controller and rely on Cisco Eyes as the radio server so that we can deploy the policies on Cisco Eyes but get the identity of the employees or users from Microsoft Windows Server as the Active Directory? Yes, it's possible. And I'm going to show you how. Okay, this is the topology we'll be using. And let's pretend that in this network, we have two users. So we have a regular user who we don't care. And we have this user, um, Silesium, looks like me, but it's not me. And he needs to access the internet, only Silesium. Now, Silesium is an employee at this company. So in order to access the internet, the company says that first, every employee must be authenticated. And Silesium will be using his laptop and is going to use a wireless connection. So the wireless connection will have to go through this 40 AP, so 40 AP. Now 40 AP is the access point device on Fortinet networks. This 40 AP or AP is connected to this switch. And in this switch, we can also find the 40 gate and the active directory. Now 40 gate is the firewall, but it's also the wireless LAN controller. Now recall that the wireless LAN controller is used to manage the access points on Fortinet uh, devices, on the Fortinet networks. Now, if you're new to Fortinet uh, wireless networks, I did a video uh, explaining the step-by-step -step process on how to deploy a wireless network using Fortinet devices, okay? Make sure to watch it before moving any further. Now, let's continue with this one. So I also have another device here that Cisco Eyes that will be using as the radio server uh, to allow access to this employee Silesium. So essentially we have all the pieces required to uh, authorize, authenticate and monitor the employees. Now we are not going to deploy everything from scratch because that would just take forever. But if you want to deploy Fortinet wireless networks, just make sure to watch the video. Uh, it will be somewhere here on screen. And if you want to learn how to deploy Cisco Eyes with the Microsoft Windows Server as the Active Directory being used as an external identity source on Cisco Eyes, just go to my platform www.celesiocarvalho.com. There is a course Cisco Eyes and you'll find this lesson available for free. Okay? So let's continue. Okay, let's begin by adding FortiGate as a network device on Cisco Eyes. So let's go to Cisco Eyes and Network Devices. And I'm going to add a new network device and I'll name this as uh, FortiGate. So FortiGate IP address will be 192.168.21. And I have to enable radius. Okay, and here will be the password. And I'm going to just validate the CCI 65745. Yes. And I'm going to submit this. Okay. So now we go to 40 gate. Okay. And we have to add uh, Cisco Eyes as the Regis server. But before that, recall that Cisco Eyes is on a different subnet than FortiGate. So first we have to make sure that FortiGate is able to reach Cisco Eyes. So we go to network and we're going to add a static route. So we're going to create a new one and it's going to be a subnet. And we want to reach the, net, uh, the subnet 192.168.43.0.24. And the gateway address will be uh, the Microsoft Windows Server. So Microsoft Windows Server, it has the IP 2201. And it's reachable, in my case, by uh, using port number 4. I'm going to save this. Now let's test whether uh, FortiGate is able to reach Cisco Eyes. So let's open the console and I'll run the command. So exec ping 192.168.43.200. So, it's reachable, done. So now let's add Cisco Eyes as a Regis server. So we go to user and authentication, Regis server. Let's create a new one. We're going to name this as Cisco Eyes. 
and NAS IP that's not mandatory but let's just use it as the ICE IP address and IP name that's going to be ICE IP address so it's going to be the same one for 3200 and here the secret has to match what we configure on Cisco ICE so it was 65, 65, 745 and now we should test connectivity and it's successful now if you test connectivity and your results won't be successful you should troubleshoot okay don't try to move forward without solving this problem first in my case it's working and i can even test user credentials for instance i have a user Celesio. So let me test that and it's working so it means that portgate is able to reach cisco ice and cisco ice is relaying to uh windows active director okay so let's close this and let's save this so we have cisco ice as the regis server now the next step will be to enable uh, wpa2 enterprise as a security setting and set cisco ice as the regis server so let's go to wi-fi and switch controller and here on ssid so let's open this ssid profile and if we scroll down to uh, security mode, now it's set to personal. So let's change this to WPA2 Enterprise. Okay. Now, instead of using local, we're going to use Regis Server. So let's choose uh, Cisco Ice as the Regis Server. Okay. So it's done. So we just added Cisco Ice as the Regis Server. Now, is it going to work? Let's test. Okay, this is the employee PC and let's try to connect to Wi-Fi employee. So let's connect to it and it's prompt for username and password. Should be Slider Carvalho. And my super secret password. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just go ahead and connect. Okay, and the employee was successfully authenticated. But where can we validate that it was really authenticated successfully? Now, there are a couple of ways we can validate that. So first should be Cisco ICE. So if we go to Cisco ICE here on operations, live logs, should be able to see the identity of the employee being authenticated and also some additional information like the MAC address. And if we had profiling, we could also have some details about its PC. So. Uh, I didn't deploy any policy, so nothing fancy, not too much to see. We can also validate this on FortiGate. So here on FortiGate, if we go to Wi-Fi clients, should be able to see the client IP address, the client MAC address on which uh, access point is connected to, uh, the SSID, the customer or not customer, the employee is connected to, the employee username, the Windows PC, so which type of computer is using, uh, how much traffic is using on the bandwidth, uh, what is the signal quality. So there's a lot of information that we can get. Plus, if I right click on it, so diagnostic and tools, I can also have some insights as uh, the performance of the link. Also, such uh, the type of applications that specific user is using uh, what are its top destinations on which policies are the traffic hitting and also some logs that we can use for troubleshooting. So, okay, so there you have it. We deployed a wireless network using 40 AP, using 40 gate as the wireless controller, using Cisco ICE as the Regis Server Network Access Controller, and also Microsoft Windows Server as the Active Directory. So if you got value from this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.